Lagi natin ginagamit ang tabo sa iba't ibang paraan. Sa pagligo, sa pagugus ng mga bagay, paminsan ginagawa pa itong lalagyan. Kadalasan, taken for granted na nga eh. So sobrang dalas ng gamit natin sa kanya, nakakalimutan natin ang halaga nito. Pero bakit parang tayo lang ang gumagamit nito sa araw-araw nating routine? Bakit hindi ito parte at tinatanggap ng mga taga-ibang bansa? What makes the tabo a Filipino thing? Let's unfold and understand tabo. Even before the time of the Spanish colonization, researchers have discovered evidence na ginagamit ito ng mga Pinoy as an all-purpose household item. Mas madalas ay ginagamit daw ng mga ninuno natin ito pang hugus ng paa at kamay bago pumasok ng bahay. Nakapuesto ito sa harap ng bahay kasama ang balde ng panahon na iyon o ang tinatawag na palayok. Isang lalagyan na gawa sa clay. Siyempre, hindi gawa sa plastik ang mga tabo noon tulad ngayon. Gawa daw ito noon sa shell ng coconut at bamboo. Our neighbors all have an equivalent of the tabo. No? The Malaysians, the Thais. In front of your home, she will have a palayo na may tubig. No? And at least in the other countries, you you then use the tabo or the equivalent in English, ladle. No? And they wash their feet before entry. No? Kasi uh, marumi ang paa. No? You go into the homes. No? My perception is that it started out more for cleaning in general different parts of the body. And of course, all over Southeast Asia, you will see it's made out of coconut shells no? because coconuts are so common. Masasabing simbolo ang tabo at ang palayok sa culture ng mga Pilipino noon as a sign of cleanliness na nag-evolve over time in modern use of running water, like faucets, hoses, showers, and bidets. I lived in the Philippines for over a year. I was an exchange student there, and I come from France. I discovered the tabo in, uh, in public restrooms, actually. When I think I took the metro, and I just wanted to pee so much, and I went to the toilets there, and there was no flush, there was nothing, it was just a tabo right there. And I was like, okay, what do I do with this? <laughs> Uh, but I knew about that because some friends had told me and since I'm kind of of a psycho with this, I would, during my entire stay in the Philippines, I was carrying with me um, a pack of tissues like for the entire trip. Uh, that was like kind of my survival thing to, to have on. So I remember when I first I encountered the tab, I was like, okay, what is this for? Because I never really seen it before. Um, I'm seven years now here in New Zealand, so um, I work here as a registered nurse. Malaking adjustment yung pagligo, kasi uh, almost lahat ng ano is shower talaga. So meron sa lang shower and bath, which is separate sa toilet. Sa atin sa Pilipinas, toilet tapos nandun na yung shower o kaya yung liguan. Dito may minsan separation pa yung shower and bath. So talagang malaking adjustment ng pagdating ko dito kasi tayo sa Pilipinas sanay tayo sa tabo eh. Majority of Filipinos have been raised to use the tabo as a primary tool for bathing and for washing one's buttocks. Hindi lang ito basta kinalakihan o kinasanayan ng gamitin inside the bathroom. Mas pinaniniwalaan rin ito ng karamihan sa atin as a more effective way of sanitizing after a bowel movement. Uh, ang kultura sa, sa Pilipinas ngayon, ang term natin is kaugalian. Uh, naugalian na natin, ilang generations yan. Cultures are made out of, it's not just things we do, but things we feel. Eh. Yung, the, the, the tabo makes us feel malinis. No? The, the cleanliness that you feel from the tabo. I, I feel that the tabo has to start in childhood. No? It's something na dapat bata ka pa, natuto ka na. So pati yung, yung nararamdaman na malinis ito is, is something that has to be part of all the other aspects of culture that you learn in childhood. Mainly because gumagamit tayo ng sabon to make sure na walang residue. Para sa karamihan, hindi sapat ang water 
at toilet paper lamang bilang panlinis na siya namang nakasanayan ng ibang nationalities tulad na lang ng mga Americans at Europeans. Um, I don't really remember who introduced me to it. I'm pretty sure it was a Filipino or Filipina friend, but I don't really remember like how it was presented. I just know that for my Filipino friends, it was really funny that I would have to have this experience, that they would, they would always make fun of me like, Uh, so you're gonna use the taboo, <laughs> and I really remember like how they would uh, roast me with this thing. I feel like for Filipino people, it's rites of passage, like uh, you're gonna use the taboo and it's gonna make you a new person or something, and they kind of wait for you <laughs> and and see how you're gonna react to it. Let's face it. Using soap and tabo over toilet paper is not only more sanitary and cost-effective, but it encourages us to do our part in saving more trees from being cut down. Yes, trees. Because in order to produce tissue paper, you need wood pulp. And in order to create wood pulp, you need to break down tree logs into flakes and mix it with, guess what? More and more water. I'm Gaya dito sa Auckland. At this point, pa summer na, so may water restriction. So narealize nila recently na mahakatipid sila pag nagtabo at nagbaket sila kaysa sa shower. Kasi may water restriction na nililimit nila yung shower ng uh, four to five minutes uh, per person. So advice ng government. So nung na discover nila na may tabo at may bucket, Medyo nag-shift yung perspective nila. Sabi nila, oh, okay pala to. Nakakatipid tayo sa tubig. Magtabo tsaka magbakit na lang tayo. So meron po mga ano, uh, Kiwi friends and Maori friends na, ano, na gumagamit na rin ng bakit tsaka tabo. Humigit kumulang labing pitong puno at dalawampung galon ng tubig ang kakailanganin ng mga manufacturers para makapag-produce lamang ng isang toneladang tissue. Isipin mo, yung ginamit na tubig sa pag-produce ng tissue sana pinahugas mo na lang ng puwet mo. Nakasave ka na ng puno, mas malinis ka pa. O, ba? Diba? How about naman sa shower? Ayon sa DENR, kapag naliligo ka gamit ng shower at hindi mo ito isinasara habang nagsasabon ka, o anuman, nakakapag-aksaya ka ng 9 liters up to 45 liters of clean water every minute. Siyempre, depende to sa gumagamit. Merong shower heads na malakas ang daloy ng tubig, meron rin namang mahina. Tinitipid mo ang tubig, no? Because, you know, you scoop up the water, you know how much to pour, no? Uh, hindi lahat, hindi sabay-sabay, no? So yes, it is a water conservation measure, and and maybe that's why it clicked so well, because uh, many households in the Philippines still lack water, even in your middle-class subdivisions, kulang, mahina pa rin ang pressure. Obviously, mas kaya nating makatipid sa paggamit ng tabo at timba kumpara sa paggamit ng shower dahil nakokontrol natin ang amount ng tubig na kinukonsumo natin. Sa paggamit ng tabo, kumukonsumo lang tayo ng sapat na tubig para sa kanya-kanya nating pangangailangan sa pagligo. Hindi katulad sa shower na may tendency tayo to leave it running even when we're not actually using it. So either be responsible enough to turn off the shower when you're not using it, or just use tabo and timba instead. Uh, I think that's like a a major thing to have because you can use the restrooms like every time if you have this I feel like and I don't know I think it's also very cultural I realized that in South Asia and also other countries in Asia where people are not really using toilet paper as much as in Europe or you consume it like a lot it's useful because it's the cleanest way and the easiest way and Let's face it, our bodies of water are becoming more polluted each day. Ultimately, the biggest concern here is our depleting clean water resources and how we can play our respective roles in conserving water amidst the increasing risks brought about by global climate change. Last year lang, nagkaroon ng series of water supply interruptions within Metro Manila, which shows na posibleng masalot na tayo sa supply in the years to come. I'm a toilet paper person. <laughs> I grew up with toilet paper. No? My kids grew up with the tabo, and they do not like toilet paper. And I hear this very often. Uh, it cuts across classes, no? hindi lang sa masa, no? kahit sa mga mayaman, sad na. No? Ang tingin nila, toilet paper is actually dirty. No? 
Pag-pop the bidet, this, iba pa rin ang bidet. No? Spray lang kasi yan. No? Yung tabo is personal. No? Uh, and it's an art. Uh, I'm always amazed at people who know how to use the tapo in there. But people know how to balance themselves. People know how to... There's an angle with which you use to throw the water. No? So there is art that goes with the tapo. No? And I think we should teach it in schools. Not <laughs> sa good manners and right tanda. Kasama din yan. No? Get around to shaking hands again with people. I will think, ano kaya ito? Toilet paper man or tapo man? So ngayong alam na natin ang advantages ng paggamit ng tabo, masasabi natin na isa ito sa mahalagang gamit sa bahay. Kailangan nating ma-appreciate ulit ang paggawais ng ating mga ninuno para makagawa ng ganitong gamit. Very important ang tabo sa Filipino culture kasi um, it's already ingrained in our DNA. So siguro uh, kabataan natin, kabataan ng parents natin, kabataan ng mga grandparents natin, they've been using uh, tabo. Uh, could be in either form, could be the plastic tabo, could be the coconut husk. Pero it's been ingrained in our culture and our DNA as Filipinos that it's it's quite different and it's quite unique pag nakaupo ka, tapos may tabo, batya. And it's kind of social as well kasi syempre nung uh, kabataan natin or dyan sa Pilipinas, kung naliligo ka sa may poso o sa labas, so very social na may kasama ka rin naliligo. So I think it's really ingrained in our, in our DNA as Filipinos na kailangan natin ng tabo sa pagligo. Maituturing nating simbolo itong tabo ng ingenuity ng mga sinuunang Pilipino. Bukod sa nakakatipid tayo sa tubig at kuryente sa paggamit ng tabo, malaking bahagi rin ito hindi lamang ng pamumuhay natin kundi ng sariling kultura rin natin. Tuluyan mong maging staple appliances ng banyo ang shower, toilet flush at bidet sa ating bansa, Makakatiyak pa rin tayo na kailanman ay hindi mawawalan ng silbi para sa ating mga Pilipino ang tabo. It was, you know, we, we really share a very unique intimacy ways with our way of going to the toilets. And this is something I, I think I cannot change. For sure. As much as I know, sir, lahat po nang napuntahan kong Filipino household, 99.9 parang alcohol yan at germs, may mga tabo sila. Over the years, nag-iba na ang itsura ng tabo at patuloy pa rin itong nagbabago na aangkop sa modernong pamumuhay natin. Sa tingin mo, ano pa kaya ang pwedeng ma-innovate with tabo? Who knows, in the near future, we might get a glimpse of a new design or a state-of-the-art feature with our humble little tabo. Give us your suggestions and ideas in the comment section below.